there's one thing that the world needs It's a magic singing song And I'm teasing to the whole world And make them sing along Do you believe, you believe in magic? Cause I believe, I believe that I do Yes, I can see, I believe that it's magic Your vision is magic, your love will shine through Your mission is magic <laughs> in the Museum of Joel and Arts. <laughs> Come, Charles. This, this is the place. It's in there, Dr. Astro. The jewelry room. <laughs> the jeweled scorpion of Osmos. And now it is mine. <laughs> Put it in the satchel. That's the scorpion, the fish brooch, and the ram's horn. Not a bad night's work, eh? <laughs> Let us get back to our own world. Come. Uh, the planets spin. The moon is new. Open yon door and let us through. <laughs> Kim, a book of horoscopes. They're fun. What's your sign, Vinny? This space for rent. Ha, huh? <laughs> what Kim meant is, what's Vinny's birth sign? Uh, you mean my astronomical sign? <laughs> I don't believe in astronomy. You should believe in astronomy, Vinny. That's the science of the stars and the universe. And astrology, well, that's a fun thing, based on birth dates. Yeah, like my sign is Taurus, the bull. <laughs> Taurus, take time to enjoy beauty of nature, and your problems will shrink in size. I'm Aquarius, the water bearer. Your horoscope says, plunge yourself into efforts on behalf of wisdom, and calmness will come your way. What's mine? I'm Sagittarius, the hunter. Do right three times today, and you'll be left with a good feeling. Well, I'm Tickle the Teacher, and my horoscope says, let's stop the fooling around and call the Adventurers Club to order. Whatever your sign is, Miss Tickle, I bet your horoscope says that you're a natural leader of people. But it doesn't say that I have to take any remarks from an old gramophone. <laughs> Hi, Rick. What's up? Well, among other things, I've struck gold where I am. Shh! Not so loud. You'll start a gold rush. <laughs> not unless there's a big demand for golden ram's horns. Golden ram's horns? Miss Tickle, did you read about those robberies last night? Yes. Someone stole the jeweled scorpion and the diamond fish brooch and... Don't tell me. And a golden ram's horn? But how? That's what I'm wondering, Rick. How did it get on that side of the board? You fool! How could you have lost the ram's horn? It must have dropped out of the satchel, Dr. Astro. Ah, my collection won't be complete without it. Come, we must find it. Oh, tut tut, cat of ancient lore, tis time to draw the magic door. <laughs> Keep watching for them, Ptolemy. They'll be here any minute. <laughs> I'll just put this down here. If you drop the ram's horn in this world, it has to be somewhere along here. Ah, look, Dr. Astro. Huh? The ram's horn. Hey, who's that chap with the nearsighted bird? I don't know. <laughs> we go flying like this, I keep wishing I was born under the sign of an eagle. There's Rick with Ptolemy. This is your pilot speaking. For now, everyone's sign is, fasten your safety belts. <laughs> Hi, Rick. Hi, Ptolemy. Hi, Miss Tickle. Hi, everybody. On behalf of the Academy, I want to present you all with this golden ram's horn. I don't see anything. It was right here, on the ground, just a few minutes ago. But how could it just disappear? Ptolemy, what's the matter? <laughs> Miss Tickle, what is it? 
I'll explain later. Come on. <laughs> We're being filed. <laughs> oh, seventh house, where lies the moon. Therein will be, and none too soon. Magic. Now I understand how he got through the blackboard. <laughs> Who is that man? I don't know. He's one character on this side of the board who's managed to keep himself a secret from me. Perhaps his crimes will shed some light on his identity. Well, he stole a scorpion, a fish, and a ram's horn. Hmm. Sounds like he's got a thing for stealing stuff that's got to do with animals. <laughs> or with astrology. Rick, that might be it. A scorpion, Scorpio, a fish, Pisces, a ram's horn, Aries. It makes sense if we assume that he has some connection with the world of astrology. Let's find out. This is the Hall of Records where they have listings of every person on this side of the board. Let's see. A, A, S. There. Dr. Astro, said to possess magical powers, dwells in the Valley of the Signs. The Valley of the Signs? What's that? We're about to find out. I'd better tell Dr. Astro about this. How do we know where to find the Valley of the Signs? I have a strange feeling it won't be a pretty place. In that case, I think we're headed the right way. The book at the Hall of Records said that we'd find Dr. Astro in the Valley of the Signs. We're headed into the valley now, and I don't like the looks of it. This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, then uh, we must be in the right place. Hey, what makes you say that? Yeah, well, that's what that Dr. Astro and his friend are. Creeps, get it? <laughs> it's not very nice, Vinny, even though they are under suspicion. And undercover. I think we'd better head deeper into the valley. <laughs> Mars is in Saturn and Venus dominant. And the sun is in conjunction with the third phase of the moon. Do you know what that means, Charles? It's going to rain. If it does, it'll sound hollow on your head. <laughs> it means that today we must be wary of strangers who will try to intrude into our lives. Mm, I do not wish to say your chart doesn't work, Dr. Astro, but last week it said my finances would take a very sharp upturn. And? Somebody in a helicopter picked my pocket. <laughs> Come, let us prepare an astrological welcome for the strangers. This is like being on the moon. Yeah, except even the moon is friendlier than this. Well, at least there aren't any obstacles in our path. You spoke a bit too soon, Miss Tickle. Uh-oh, and my mountain climbing shoes are at the shoemakers. How do we get up there? We rise to the challenge. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is some cliff here. I think it goes on forever. Nonsense, Franklin. This cliff cannot go on forever. You know something? I think it goes on forever. <laughs> to be away. There's a pass. Let's go. Single file, everybody. Which way do we go? Pick a number from one to five. <laughs> Gosh, we're in a, in a maze. We'll take care of that. Dr. Astro's magic is no fluke. Yeah, it's no saxophone either. <laughs> Vinny, not Flute. What are you telling me for? I said saxophone. <laughs> What's that? I don't know, but I'm getting out of here. Everything's a dead end. This way. There's where the, the growling is coming from. He's not growling at us. Then what? Someone's trapping him. I'll help him. It's 
a hunter of some kind. An astrological kind, I think. You mean it's... Sagittarius, the hunter. He'll take care of them charts. <laughs> Uh, do something, Miss Tickle. Well, Astro's able to counteract my magic, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> How do we get away? Miss Tickle's magic won't work, and we can't find our way out of this maze. Yeah, and that uh, Saji, uh, Saji, uh... And that hunter, he's catching up. I'm beginning to wish I wasn't a Sagittarian. Wait, what was it that your horoscope said? Do right three times today, and you'll be left with a good feeling. Come on. One right. Two rights. Three rights. Now a left. Ahead, there's the exit. Boy. That was close. Where's the lion? There he goes. Is <laughs> he just as happy as we are to be away from the hunter? Hmm. I still don't know how we did it. Franklin's a Sagittarius, and his horoscope was a clue. Do right three times today, and you'll be left with a good feeling. Right three times, then a left. Hey, I thought you said that stuff was all just a, a fun thing, Mr. Tickle. <laughs> In the real world, yes. But here, I guess it has some meaning. Let's keep on going. We still have to get to Dr. Astro. Now, ah, let's see what my chart has to say for Sagittarius. Probably that he has conquered the intruders. I don't know, Dr. Astro. It says here, Sagittarius can't fight his way out of a paper bag. Let me see that. You're reading it wrong. Oh, it does say that. They won't escape from Taurus. Well, let's hope this field doesn't turn into another maze. This place sure is peaceful. Yeah, and pretty, too. Don't tell me you're picking up culture. Uh-oh. I think our day in the country is about to get trampled. I hope my shrinking trick still works. Split up. Give him a lot of small targets. There's no way we can stop him. He spotted Socks! Socks! Watch out! Socks doesn't realize that the big bull is coming at him. I don't believe it! Socks said he was a Taurus, didn't he? That could be it again! Taurus, take time to enjoy the beauty of nature and your problems will shrink in size. My horoscope solved the problem of Sagittarius and Sox solved the problem of Taurus. Oh, I'm just glad that we're over on this side of the board where horoscopes mean something. <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? Taurus is a little lamb. He fleeced his friend Astro. Ah, uh, Dr. Astro, you're getting to be a crab. That is not my sign. I have a feeling that we're about to run into another one of Dr. Astro's astrological obstacles. What could it be? There's no astrological sign that's a tree. We can't turn back anyway. We have to find this Dr. Astro and put a stop to his crimes. How do we get across? I know it's probably useless to try, but... <coughs> looks like Astro has us grounded too, so we can't fly across. If we only had a boat. Well, Let's give it the old try-try-again routine. What makes you think your magic will do any better this time? To tell you the truth, Harv, I don't think it will. It did work, Miss Tickle. Which makes me very suspicious. Let's see what I come up with. Ha! Ha! Eureka! I've allowed the girl's magic to form a boat, and they're on the river. Aquarius, bearer of watery flow, stop the strangers with H2O. So far, so good. In fact, 
It's a rather pleasant trip now. Maybe all the obstacles are behind us. Something like plunge yourself into efforts on behalf of wisdom and calmness will come your way. She plunged into the water to save Ptolemy. A wise owl, sometimes. Look, that must be Dr. Astro's headquarters. Ah, direct. Aquarius ran out of water. Uh, what now, Dr. Astro? Leo! I'm sorry. What now, Leo? No, I, I meant now it is time for Leo. Oh, you mean that... We're here, Dr. Astro, wherever you are. We're locked in. Hey, if that ain't the cat's meow. Hey, I'd have bet that I said meow. You were close anyway. Lions? I hope one of us is a Leo. I am. You're a Rick. Miss Tickle meant the birth sign, Leo. That's me. Look up his horoscope, quick. Lend a helping hand and you'll make a new friend. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> it's the lion Rick saved from the hunter. <laughs> you have defeated my astrological friends. But you will not defeat me so easily. Roll the planets into one and let them all become a sun. That sun, it's too hot. Got to try once more. I hope this trick eclipses his. You magic! It works again! The radiation of Astro's son wiped away whatever he did to block Miss Tickle's magic. My son! My son! Daddy. <laughs> it's all over for you, Mr. Astrologer. He must be a Capricorn. It says here, Capricorn, beware of placing obstacles in the path of justice. So the great Dr. Astro is a Capricorn, a goat. <laughs> Well, let's gather up the stolen articles and bring them back to the real world. I hope Astro and Charts learn that getting away with crime just isn't in the stars. Not even for an astrologer. They let a fun thing stop being a fun thing. I know it's just for fun, Miss Tickle, but you never told us what your sign is. It's this. Right now, leaving for home. Oh, Miss Tickle. <laughs> <laughs> 